And that's why I wanted you to know about this as soon as possible. The people who learn how to do this are the ones who are going to be at the top of their game in every area. ChatGPT is an amazing tool, but it was trained on a data set from 2021. So let's see if we can teach an AI how to use the cloud today. All right, let's start off with something easy. Do you know what year this is? Okay, cool. So it knows what year this is and it knows that its data set is from 2021. And that'll of course be when its bicep information is from. All right, so let's get it ready here. I want to tell you how to write the latest version of Azure Bicep code. So I will share with you some new information. Are you ready? Okay, now this is important. We can only teach ChatGPT something during our session. And based on that, it'll give us updated responses. But if you start a brand new chat, you're gonna have to teach it all over again. So let me show you a shortcut to get around this problem. Here's the Azure Bicep documentation page, and that's linked down in the video description. Now it's gonna take a lot for you to copy and paste everything out of here just right and paste it into ChatGPT. So let me give you a better way. This is tothewebcom link in the description as well. This page turns HTML web pages into raw text, which we can feed into ChatGPT and give it an education. So copy the URL from whatever it is you want it to learn, paste it right in here, check the box that it knows you're not a robot and hit the button. And there you go, there is a text dump of the entire page. Just copy all of that and let's go back to ChatGPT. Here is the latest information on Azure Bicep Syntax. Then you paste that code right in there and hit enter. Now this is gonna be really good if you run into specific issues in ChatGPT and whatever you're trying to do and you need to educate it. Like if I have it write bicep code and it keeps getting the syntax wrong on the parameters, I can go to the parameters doc, copy that, feed it into to the web, get all the text, come back here to ChatGPT and then type here is the latest information on Azure Bicep parameters and then paste in the text and then it gives you the response here that tells you it understands what it is that you told it. Makes sense? Now, just to be safe, let's feed it a sample of what it is we're trying to do. So back in the docs on the left, we wanna to go to the sample section. Then under compute, we'll find Windows Virtual Machines. We're gonna run that through our tool, copy the URL, paste it in, hit the button, grab the text, give it back to ChatGPT, and we'll say here is an updated sample of Azure Bicep code for a Windows virtual machine. Paste it in, and now let's see what this thing can do. Write Azure Bicep code for a Windows virtual machine called ChatGPT-VM, located in the East US2 region. The admin username should be LNTAD. The admin password should be a secure parameter. The VM size should be standard B2MS. The VM should use a standard SSD for the OS disk. Please include all required resources and don't forget everything I already showed you. Okay, just a few seconds, we've got our bicep code. So let's scroll up, hit the copy button, and then we'll go over to VS Code and see how we did. Now, before we paste it in here, we wanna be sure that we have the latest version of the Azure Bicep extension. So click over on extensions on the left and then type in the word bicep into the filter and you should see there the one from Microsoft. This is gonna add a lot of functionality into VS Code that'll help us, including language support for bicep itself. Now, paste in your code. Houston, we have a problem. Okay, no reason to panic yet. We're still teaching it. And this is really a good thing because we can learn too. Now, the most common issue here seems to be this declaration type is not recognized thing. So let's see what chat GPT can do to help. The bicep code has many error messages that say the declaration type is not recognized. Please fix the code to resolve that error issue. Okay, not bad. Let's try this again. Copy the code, jump over to VS Code, delete everything that we had, and paste in the new stuff. Okay, this is even better. Now we've got half as many errors as before. Now it looks like that there's a problem here with the resource type format. 
So go back to the AI. There are errors that say the resource type is not in a valid format. Please rewrite the code to fix this. Okay, that looks different. Let's copy it and see if VS Code is happy. Delete everything again and paste. Uh, okay, not so much. Still looks like it's a resource type format issue. So let's see if we can help the AI out and give it a sample of what we need. So back in the docs, I see over here, we've got this whole big code block for how to deploy a virtual machine. And this line over here looks like the one that's the problem, the resource line. It's apparently missing an API. So we'll copy that as a sample and go back to the AI. This is the proper format for a resource type. Please rewrite the bicep code using this new information. Okay, that's pretty good now. So copy it once again, jump here back to VS Code, delete everything, paste it in, and everything finally looks good. So let's try to build it. Right click on the tab at the top, and then click deploy a bicep file. And all the inputs that you have to take care of now are at the very top here, starting with a deployment name. And the default is just fine. So we'll just press enter, and now we have to click on what subscription we want to build in, then the resource group. I'll just select ChatGPT, and we currently don't have a parameters file, so I'll just select none here. And now for the rest of these, these are the input parameters, and you can either just hit enter for them, or you can give them new values. For the password field here, I'm going to blur that out, because you don't need to see my password. But don't worry, it's not really in plain text being given to Azure, it's just in plain text here in VS Code as you're entering it. And you don't have to believe me because I'll show you in a minute. And we'll just give it the default values for everything else by hitting enter. And now it wants to know if we want to generate a parameters file from all of those responses. And I don't really need that at this moment, so I'll just say no. Jump over to the Azure portal and check out your resource group and then look at the deployments. In just a minute or two, you're going to be complete. Now before we leave here, over on the left, go to your inputs and you see that the password field is blank. That's because, if you go to the template section, that the password here was using a secure string, so the password was encrypted. So let's go back to the resource group itself, and there's all of our stuff. A VM with a disk, a network card, and a virtual network. All thanks to giving ChatGPT a little information about Bicep today. Now, just to warn you, I have tried this process several times and it's mostly okay, but I gotta say there were some mixed results. And part of that is because ChatGPT might get slammed at some point, so all the requests kind of stop and then you have to just refresh the page. When you do, over here in ChatGPT, on the left, you can see that there are your chats that you've been having and it should preserve those conversations and all of their context, but not always. And that might mean that you have to start from the beginning. And to avoid that, the simplest thing to do is take everything that you taught it and either save that into a document somewhere so that you can just feed it a whole bunch at the beginning or take your finished product like our updated code and we'll start a new chat and we'll do this. Here is a code sample of the latest Azure Bicep syntax to build a virtual network, network card, and virtual machine and then just paste in your code and press enter. And the AI responds telling you that it understands. And now type, based on this, please write the code for a new virtual machine. Bring it over to VS Code, paste it in, and it all looks great right away. So I'll do a deployment from that real fast and pop over to the Azure portal. Everything looks great, there's our new VM. And you can use this method to teach ChatGPT anything that it's missed in the last two years. But constantly training it with every new session is really kind of ridiculous, which is why they're working on a new version of ChatGPT that is going to be even smarter. A lot smarter. Check this out. ChatGPT has been growing exponentially smarter since it started. It had 1.3 billion parameters right out of the gate, which then quickly jumped up to 13 billion. And today, ChatGPT version 3 has 175 billion parameters. But where this is going next is insane. The next version is gonna have 100 trillion parameters. That's a growth of over 570 times. And it's gonna have even more advanced capabilities, making it a world changer 
which is why I wanted you to know about it today. The people who learn how to make this AI work for them are the ones who are going to be at the top of their game in every area. And why shouldn't that be you? So have some fun with it, and when version 4 is ready, you can be sure that we're going to see who wins the next cloud challenge. Until then, happy learning.